What's up, brothers and sisters? This is your brother, G World 7 Space D. I've been hearing a lot of arguments going back and forth on whether or not are we Aboriginal black people here in America or are we just uh, descendants of enslaved Africans. Um, in my opinion, I think it's a combination that we are, we were here as well as some of our ancestors brought over here. Um, as slaves, but not just from Africa. We have to critically think, brothers and sisters. We can't just go by what's given to us face value. We have to really do some deep research. Um, right now, I have this Discover magazine, and this is the January, February issue of this year. I have been known this, but I read up on it again. This evolution timeline toppled. And we're going to go and turn to this page here. Okay, we're going to turn to page 10. I believe it's page 10. Yeah, let's go back here. And uh, this is actually a pretty good book. A journal, actually. Okay, then. Um, here's it has it right here. Read it a little bit. Human evolution timeline topples. For decades, school children across the globe were taught our order start story when something like this, an archaic form of Homo sapiens, evolved around 200,000 years ago in Africa. By about 100,000 years ago, the population had become anatomically modern humans who, around 50,000 years ago, headed across Eurasia and met up with our distant cousins, the Neanderthals, and closely related uh, then the Soviets, not known to science until 2010. <clears throat> like a game of Jenga, however, researchers have recently been removing bricks and destabilizing that towering timeline. In 2017, a few more bricks came out, and a con and conventional chronology of our origins finally toppled. What we're left with. Homo sapiens have been around at least 100,000 years longer than we thought and left Africa much earlier than we believed. And whenever they ran into other hominins populations, well, sex happens, says Eric Trinkus, a paleoanthropologist at Washington University in St. Louis. You can draw lines of different lineages and maps, but real populations don't behave that way. Trinkus stresses that revising the timeline for human evolution isn't the same as starting from scratch. Differences are refinement, not in the basic story. Okay, and here's a little quick article. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to read part one of it. I'm going to focus on there. The Big Wow. In the, in the mid-20th century, during mining operations at Jebel, or was it Arhod in Morocco, Workers turned up some old, possibly human bones. The haphazard find made dating them confidentially all but impossible. Paleoanthropologist Jean Jacques Hublin and colleagues returned to the site recently to excavate an area undisturbed by mining. They hopped, excuse me, they hoped to find material that could help them date the earlier discovery. Instead, they found what Hublin calls a big wow. The partial remains of at least five humans, plus tools and other artifacts, most of which are about 300,000 years old. The archaic Homo sapiens, facial features and brain volume are essentially modern, says Hublin, though their skull's shape is more primitive. During a June news conference, shortly before the study was published in Nature, Hublin noted it's unlikely that Jebel uh, Arhud individuals the oldest known Homo sapiens fossils by about 100,000 years are our direct ancestors. Okay. We are not claiming that Morocco became the cradle of modern humankind. Hublin says, we think earlier forms of humans were present all over Africa. That may explain what Charles Flint, I think, was talking about in one of his books. Um, that mining might have been done in inner Africa much longer than the date what they say humans supposedly existed. Um, and in the journal Science in late September, a separate team offered additional evidence of an earlier start date for our species. 
by sequencing the ancient DNA of seven individuals from Southern Africa, the researchers determined modern Homo sapiens emerged up to 350,000 years ago. And here's the reconstruction of early Homo sapiens skull from the Jebel Arhud site in Morocco. Now look at that. Now, the reason I brought that up and I'm showing that is that the fact is that I, we probably even go back further. If that was 300,000, then you go further in Africa, and it gets older. Um, Africa, um, it's the way it looks now wasn't always like that in the past. And I'm mostly going to say like the, um, what you call, where the Sahara Desert, we had the Sahara and the Kalakari Desert. All the area wasn't always desert. You had lakes, which you had with lake, what's called Lake Chad, uh, a big lake, Lake Chad and Lake Congo, what people call. And, you know, you were able to have boats to go in and out, maneuver. <sighs> what people know, um, what we know about that is that you've had the proof that water once exists in interior Africa, where you had satellite photos by NASA showing you grooves of uh, that water once exists deep down inside but it's buried under the sand also you have rock art paintings that's showing humans fishing in water that no longer exist and you also have um animals and boats is buried deep under the sand animals who no longer exist but their fossils have been found but buried deep under the sand that will let you know that that was once there were once lakes and rivers that flowed through the area which is now the sahara and boats were able to maneuver east and west and north and south um that gets me to the point of people were sailing by boats much earlier than we thought and migrating to different lands much earlier than we thought because i read also that is a possibility well they found human fossils that proved that humans came to north america like in the san diego area around 130,000 years ago. Now, I can remember reading in David, Dr. David Emotet's book and then going and getting the article about Dr. Uh, Goodyear, where it was a site in South Carolina where they found human remains going back to 51,700 years ago and into Australia, not Australia, um, Brazil, 56,000 years ago. So if it's 51,700 years ago here in North America over in South Carolina, and then it's been pushed back to a certain degree over in Brazil area 130,000 years ago, the only people who existed then were black. So those black people migrated out of Africa much earlier than we thought, much much more before 40,000 or 60,000 years ago, or even 100,000 years ago. They've migrated, they've been migrated out of Africa now. The debate is whether we are indigenous to this land, because I'm hearing a lot of people arguing about are black people aboriginal, are they just speaking self-hate? We are aboriginal to this land, but in the same instance, we we are African descendants. Uh, how I'm going to put it is that the fact is that my ancestors have been in this country uh, for a long time. I'm not going. Uh, I'm not going to go about the number of years, but after so many years, I'm going to claim the land I'm at. I'm indigenous to America. Yes, I'm African descendant, but I've been here in America for so long. So I'm going to claim my, uh, who I am here. Also, the fact is that um, when you go to, when you describe like the Moors, the Moors ruled Europe for around 700 years. Uh, yes, they're African descent. But many of those black folks been there for so long, around 700 years, are descendants of people who, who, are, who, who are descendants of people who've been there for like a, a number of decades and generations, that they are indigenous black Europeans. I personally believe that black people in America are a combination of indigenous blacks who are already here and they were prisoners of war by the Europeans with the help of some sellout blacks. Um, black people who were brought over here in ships from Europe because when the Spanish uh, and the Portuguese defeated the Moors, then the closest blacks that they had were right there over in Europe. So it's kind of logical to me they would take them first 
than going into Africa. I think the ones who refuse to flip and sell out their own, they enslaved them and made them prisoners of war, while the others helped them, showed them uh, maps in Africa and other parts of the globe, and where they came to attack the indigenous black people who are already here in America. So yes, we are aboriginal black people of America, as well we are aboriginal people of Europe, as well we are indigenous people obviously of Africa, and we are aboriginal people of Australia. Frank Joseph, um, he runs the journal, Ancient American Journal. He talks about how black people came here to ancient America, not just from Africa. And it, it came from the Pacific Islands in Europe in early times. So to, to say that we just came from Africa and slave ships is wrong. I'm not going to deny that ships, uh, we were taken from ships or brought over here in ships from Africa, but we were also brought over in ships from Europe. Maybe with the fall of the black rulership over the Scottish blacks who were ruling, ruling that area, many of them blacks probably originally brought over here maybe as indentured servants. So it went to the, we call the Maryland, Virginia area. I, I don't believe all of us were just brought over here in just ships from Africa. That is a lie because, we, like I said, we were already here. And I remember Van Sertima talks about different waves of black people coming here to possibly in America, three or four different ways of black people before what we call Asians. And we should note also the original Asians were black themselves. So you might have had ancient land bridges, but black people had the technology to sail boats in ancient time. You know, and we really need to start to think critically and just stop thinking emotionally. And I want to show something here for my Compton's. Encyclopedia. Let's go back from the day. And I, I can't pull out the other one, my other, my Atlas book, but you see, this is Africa. This is South America. Look at this. That is not much of a travel, man. I can believe that early Africans may have traveled to Brazil from like this. This is so logical. This is a short trip. I'm going to blow it up more. It's a really, really short trip. And you had more lakes and waters, and it was always, always a Sahara Desert up here. So I can believe that they got up on a boat, got away, and came here. I do not believe on mongoloids were here before. This It doesn't make sense. It's life started in Africa. And it's proof that people were here, over in here, 51,700 years ago. And actually, well, this is South Carolina, Oh, 51,007 years ago, and then supposedly over in California, 130,000 years ago. So I'm assuming this is the first route they came here. Then in, they they migrated up through the coastline. Since going by boat was the way to travel then. And they migrated up. Well, some might have just did this direct here. But I, this is not really all that far when you look at it. You get a nice wind drift, and you can float on over. Nice sail, nice wind drift, and you can float over to the other side. So why is it impossible for that? Yes, we originate in Africa, but we're also aboriginal in other lands. Now, brothers and sisters, not all our ancestors, like I said, I'm saying this again, were brought over here and slave ships from Africa. Some of us, like I said, we're a combination of various different black people. We got to start thinking more clearly and critically. We need to claim our land, claim who we are as a people totally. This is G World 7 Space D. I want to talk about this more probably later on with a week because I got a lot of busy things. I'm busy, man, but I'm trying to do more videos. Peace. G World 7 Space D. Bye.